Hello, my name is Shannon, and today I'm going to show you how to use Copic Chow markers. And I'm going to start with the brush tip of the marker, and I'm going to apply it to the paper in short circular motions to lay the color down pretty quickly. Again, with the brush tip, and I'm going to add another layer of a different color right along the edge here. Get that nice blend of yellows here on this little sunshine shape. I'm going to go back to my lighter color again to soften those edges. The brush tip is great for softening when you apply darker colors. And I personally always start with the lighter one first. It's much easier to go light to dark than it is to subtract the dark pigment to the light. So always start light. So notice here on this little circle, we have two different shades of yellow. You get that the line between each color is very blurred because we added layers. And this is what you can get with the brush tip of the marker. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to use the chisel tip. And the chisel tip is great for more detail because it has that nice crisp line to it. So at the other end of your marker, you have a chisel tip right here. So I'm going to pick up a nice pink color. I'm going to use the brush tip initially to lay the color down, nice and soft, and I'm working pretty fast and on a relatively small space. It's much easier to start this way. Okay, so I've got my color down with the brush tip as I want. Now I'm going to pick up a chisel tip so that I can get that nice crisp line behind this shape. and it lays down the color nice and even as well. But I'm getting that rigid line, and it's consistent, very consistent. And that's how you can use the chisel tip. You can also use the chisel for a short, flat line as well. For example, let's say I wanna use this orange. All right, the chisel tip. I wanna get a nice, fat line here. The chisel tip is also perfect for that. Look at how fast I laid that color down. Very precise line. That's how we use the chisel tip. Now we're going to get into the colorless blender, everyone's favorite feature about Copic. With the colorless blender, you can get a lighter surface and um, blend the pigment a lot easier. So on this one, I'm going to add the blender first with my brush tip, and then I'm going to add pigment on top. So let's go with this pineapple shape. So I'm going to quickly add this colorless blender to this shape. And when you apply it, it might have a little bit of a gray pigment to it, but it won't change the color at all. I'm going to add this to yellow, again with the brush tip. Really good for laying down that soft color. Okay, so now that the surface was wet with the colorless blender, the pigment's a little bit lighter than what it normally is by itself. I'm going to go back on top of it again with the blender and really soften it and lighten the color. And again, layering with Copic markers is going to be your best friend. So the more layers that you apply, um, the more detailed your results can be. Okay, I'm going to do the opposite now. I'm going to add the color first to one of these motifs and then the blender on top. So let's go with this watermelon shape again. Color first, I'm going to lay down this color. I want to have a little outline there, so I'm layering that again. Okay, the color is down. I'm going to take the blender, again with the brush tip, soft circular motion, and now you can see the color is lifting. So it's getting a little bit lighter than the original color you put down. You can let it sit and add more color on top again, but it really lightens that color. And you can multiple, multiple use. So if you go back and add the chisel tip on top, you can get those crisp lines again after you've blended. Okay, and the last technique that I love to use with Copic is um, just knowing how to use my layers and knowing when to apply colors and um, when to let the pigment settle and then add more layers again. It's much easier to go light to dark than it is dark to light. Although the blender can save your life on that when you start too dark. So um, I'm just gonna start with the green here. Add some pigment on this little beach ball. 
I'm going to add that in another little section here. While this ink is still wet, I'm going to take a blue, make a different color. Again, I love to use the brush tip whenever I'm laying down color. I use the chisel whenever I'm adding in that detail at the end. But look at how nice those colors are, even just blending. You can make a whole new color just by trying out layering. Okay, I'm going to lay this yellow down here. Maybe I'll layer that with a slightly darker yellow. And blending with these markers too, it just takes time. So as you're going, um, and I love to work in a small space first, as you get going, the colors will build up and build up. And then you can get results like these down front. Um, yeah. So these were multiple layers applied to get this winged effect on all of these different um, letter examples here. Um, certain areas, like the stars, I use the chisel tip to get more precision. Um, with the lighter areas, I lifted the pigment with the Zero Colorless Blender to get these outlines here. I also use the chisel tip with the um, other side of the black marker. So you can get a lot of different techniques, a lot of different results with just one marker through layering and using both sides of the pen. Those are just a few techniques to use with your Copic Chow markers. Go ahead and try some yourself.